Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video where I'm going to take you through five different things that I see a lot of really successful Shopify stores doing. These aren't going to be your typical things either. I can pretty much guarantee there's going to be one or two things in this video that you've never thought about before. There's also one or two things in this video which I've had an, a heavy emphasis on myself um, for the last sort of six to 12 months and they've made a massive difference. So I'm confident in saying if you implement those same things into your business, um, it's going to make a big impact impact on yours as well. So make sure you stay tuned to the end. Make sure most importantly, you actually implement some of these things from this video as well and come back and let me know the differences they made for you. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to watch more of my videos, I do upload three videos every single week. Um, please do make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. So with that being said, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let's jump straight into point number one, which is mention well-known names. So the reason why this is on the list, this is something that I mentioned in the intro. I've been doing a lot myself. Um, I've been implementing clear pay onto my stores. Now, whilst I don't necessarily sell really expensive products, what I've found is that by having these kind of big, well-known names on your store, it helps you kind of piggyback off the reputation of them to legitimize your business. So as a new business advertising online, the biggest hurdle you'll have to overcome is that trust element. People will naturally be a bit hesitant shopping from you because you've just popped up on their social media ad and interrupted their day, basically. So to combat this, you can use things like Klarna, like Clear, pay who are used by some really big well-known e-commerce brands household names people like next people like asos so when people go onto those stores and they see clana they see clear pay and then later on during the day they come into my store and see clana and see clear pay they'll think well if next if asos are good enough to use these guys and then this company are using these guys also then this new company that i've just come across um, must be legitimate and must be big established to be using the same sort of payment methods as people like next and ASOS. Another one is PayPal, the obvious one. Now, to be honest, most people do have this installed on their stores and rightly so, but where I see people going wrong most of the time, if we take a look at Sanavo, so these guys have featured on my YouTube channel before. They're a proven seven figure store. In fact, I think they did over, over $2 million, or over $5 million, something just really good. Um, what they've done is they've disabled Google Pay. So Google Pay, when you set up Shopify payments by default, Google Pay will be checked. You need to go into your Shopify payment settings and uncheck that so that the default kind of dynamic checkout button is PayPal. So when people come onto your product pages, they see PayPal. Everybody knows PayPal. And when people see PayPal, they trust PayPal and therefore they're gonna trust you as well. And trust me, it sounds silly, but all these little things will make a difference to your website. It will increase the amount of people that hit that add to cart button. Number two is user generated ads. So essentially what this is, is when you're advertising your products, rather than have a slideshow or different clips of your product mashed up from content that on YouTube, content that's already on Facebook with some cheesy kind of, um, I was gonna say ding dong, some kind of cheesy like musical over the top of it with the features, get real people in your ads talking about how good the product is and showing how fun the product is to you. So let's take a quick look at a couple of my favorites here. So. If you haven't guessed already, this presentation has loads of links on it, which I'm using to record the video just to make it that much quicker and simpler. Um, if you wanna get a copy of this presentation, 100% free, just go down into the comments section. It'll be the top link there, and it'll take you to a link where, where you can get a copy of this so you can refer to the same ads and so on. So I think of the list, this is probably one of my favorite ones. So let's take a look at this. Now, for some annoying reason, my computer won't record the sound of the ad, but like I said, there is a link in the presentation. So make sure you do come across and check this out because it's just, it's so such a good ad um, and it's just really it's been filmed really really nicely there's obviously got this person here showing exactly how the product works uh, so really nicely edited you can see they've made the use of drones they've got a dog in a second which you'll see attached to the products just to show how good it is and how it's meant to be used and how fast you can run on it it's just all in all a really brilliant ad there's some really good ad services out there but nothing beats content like this so let's take a look at another example and um, this one if we load it up i believe is an air diffuser, it is. Again, apologies, you can't hear the sound, but basically there's somebody in the background, you'll see them in a second in the video, and they're just talking about the product. If we have a look on the far right-hand side, we can see 5,000 comments and 5 million views. This ad made a lot of money. You cannot argue it made a lot of money, and it's just a user-generated ad. It's somebody talking about unboxing it, 
it, receiving it, how it smells, how to use it, and how good the product is. And content like this, trust me, will help sell your product 10 times better than just something that you would spend say 50 60 dollars from one of these ad creation services another great ad if we take a look at this one from bunkerless golf um, these guys have sold i believe it's 700 000 us dollars of this shoe nothing special about this shoe by the way i'm a golfer i can tell straight away um, there's nothing massively special about it it is a decent shoe and they do sell it at a good price but what helps sell it is this guy here he's an actor or he owns a business whoever he is it's just a real person talking about the real golf shoe he's mentioning certain golfing terms which only golfers will know it's really authentic and the results speak for themselves so like i said i did a review of this store it's currently for sale in the exchange marketplace and they sold seven hundred thousand dollars of these shoes from this one facebook ad so to get yourself some user generated content you can film it yourself um, if you're not comfortable doing that go to fiverr as it says here prices range from sort of 50 pounds to 200 pounds depending on what you want people to do but my favorite method um, it's quite time consuming but if you're on a budget it works the best is to go into youtube go into instagram find these people with really small followings that would be kind of flattered to receive something for free in return for their time essentially get them to record two three four five pieces of content unboxing the product talking about the product and in return let them keep it for free point number three is they have a branded shopify store and straight away it makes your store look more established so i've got a couple of really great examples to show you sonavo which featured earlier on in the video but on this point i'm just going to talk morely with a focus and emphasis on how well they've branded their site so straight away their fonts all match up they're using the same font throughout they have a body font and they have a heading font they're using the same colors too they have this kind of dark charcoal -y color which they've used for the bar at the top and they've used in the text um, for their heading too and if we scroll down we can just see it's used for this text as well next up they have the branding colors which is this kind of turquoisey green color so we've got the button in the top right we've got the button in the top left and then when you hover over it then changes to that same color we can see with this hero image it's kind of like a gradient which starts off white and then transitions in to the branded color if we scroll down they're keeping it really kind of simplistic there's only three colors on this store so far you have the background white you have the really dark charcoal kind of colors for the text and these um, black and white images sorry and then we also have the branded color which is this turquoisey green if we take a look at the product pages it's the same story here apart from the exception of the paypal button which in my opinion could be doing them more favors because there's going to be more eyes on the actual button scrolling down this is all custom original imagery this isn't just copy and pasted from aliexpress and again they've integrated the theme and the branding colors into this same for this image here this is a really nice image now i have actually seen seen this image before on aliexpress but rather than copy and paste it across they've put their own brand on there as well as their own branding colors to help it match and be kind of in keeping with the theme and professionalism of this store everything sort of ties in really nicely together with the fonts the colors and the imagery another great example of this is mud daddy so this is actually a company i discovered i think I can't remember where I found them actually. I think they may have had a Facebook ad which popped up um, and I bought the product instantly because it's a great product. So I've been trying to find the same products which has the same technology, but I just cannot do it. I cannot find it for some reason. No matter what factory I talk to, they won't make it for me. But anyway, let's take a look at their store. So the focus I wanna put on this is the original content. It's not pictures of dogs from aliexpress or pictures of horses from aliexpress these are real dogs whether it's the owner's dogs whether it's customers dogs featuring the actual physical product itself it helps this brand actually own the product and makes it look like that this brand owns the products they're the original seller they're the original creator and anybody else selling it if there is is just a knockoff version and what they've also done too is they've actually logoed up the products we can see we have this mud daddy pre-wash this mud daddy absorbent towel as well as the actual kind of main product itself and this is something i want to touch on for this point as well if we take a look at these two product images one in the top right is just the default one from aliexpress and then this is one with some logo which i've created in about 15 seconds on canva and even though it only took me 15 seconds it looks so much more professional because it looks like the product is branded and therefore more established we're a more professional established and legitimate business versus one that hasn't got say 
logoed up products. Point number four is original content. This is huge. Again, this is something I've had a heavy emphasis on myself with my own stores. I've tried my best over the last six to 12 months to have every piece of content created myself, not recycled from anywhere else on the internet. And trust me, it makes a massive difference because it makes you stand out from the competition. If you're using the same kind of slideshow of clips as the next person or the same images as the next person, people will kind of switch off to your content because they've seen it probably in six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 places before. And if you've used one of these ad creation services or you've recycled content from online, then again, you're just gonna blend in as the same business. You're not gonna get the attention online and therefore you're not gonna get great results. Another reason why this is so important too is that if somebody sees an ad for the same product as yours and it's a very similar ad to yours, but they see this other company's ad first and they click it, they go into their website and their website is just horrendous. There's just spelling mistakes, bad layouts, bad product images, so on and so forth. They're gonna leave that website thinking, I'm not trusting that website, I'm not buying my products from them, and just carry on about their day. Later on in the day, they see your ad for the same product. There's a few different clips in it, a few different images, you've got a different logo, but ultimately it looks very similar. What people will do, and trust me, I can bet a lot of money on this, is they will just assume you're the same business and they won't even click your ad. They'll assume you're the same business and think, no, I've seen these guys before, they're not very trustworthy worthy, I'm not going to spend my money with them. If you're already semi-established and you've sold, say I'd say three, four, five hundred units of a particular product, then you could probably agree with me on this. You've probably had emails or messages on Facebook from people saying they've bought your product and they've not received it. And then when you've put their information into your Shopify backend, it turns out they didn't even buy the products from you. And that's just kind of evidence that people will make that mistake and will assume you are the same business as somebody else. And this is why original content is so powerful. To give you some examples then of where you can implement it onto your store, look at these guys here, shopbrands.nl, proven seven figure store. And they have these images of real people, which again, humanizes your brand, helps build that connection with your visitors. But to create images like this takes a couple of minutes and it will cost you about $15. Using apps and software services like Canva and Placeit, these two have been my best friends for the last six or 12 months. They had the best software ever, trust me, when it comes to creating content. If you want me to do a video another time specifically on these softwares showing how you can use them to create content, original content for your business, let me know. Just leave a comment down below. Last but not least, we have point number five, which I'm gonna go over quickly because it's pretty self-explanatory, but I'm gonna show you some evidence of why it's true. So number five is 50 plus products. Every really successful store I look at have lots and lots of products. And because it gives you that kind of look of being an established business. A business selling say two or three products doesn't look established as a business selling 50 products. So having lots and lots of products on your store, as long as they match the brand that you're going for is definitely a positive. So number one, be consistent and set goals for testing. These stores that have 50 plus products, they probably have that many products. Um, half the reason being down to the fact that that's how many it took them to test before they actually found one that was a winner for them. Number two, have expensive products on your store as well. Don't just have products in the 10 to 30 pound range. It will make your store come across as cheap. Have really expensive products on there. So when people see them, they won't just assume you're this really kind of cheap, tacky business trying to sell poor quality products basically. And last but not least, don't sacrifice the quality of your pages as well. Just because you want to bulk and fill out your store with lots of different products, make sure you spend a lot of time making sure the product pages are all the same, they're all up to scratch, they're all looking really nice and professional. You can use softwares like Jarvis to generate product descriptions in a matter of seconds to help you cut down um, on time for things like this. To show you how this is true then, if we go into Salesforce, and um, we're gonna look at Shopify stores and we're just gonna look at how many products they've all got. So I'm looking at dropshipping stores, all countries and traffic high to low. We've got this company at the top, 2.3 million monthly traffic, 280 products, 120 products, 260 products, 90 products, 44 products. If we carry on, 280 products, 150 products, 130 products, 440 products, only 20 products for this one, but there's a recurring theme here. The majority of stores that have significant traffic and therefore likely to be doing really well have a lot of products on their store. 280, 890, that looks like a stereotypical dropshipping store as well. 3,000 products these guys have. 
that. And so with that being said, I'm gonna wrap the video up there. If you're still watching, I really do appreciate it. The support on this YouTube channel is awesome. Um, so thank you very much. Um, before you go, if you are looking for a course or program to kind of take you through the right steps, step by step, completely beginner friendly from day one, all the way up to having a fully fledged functioning business, uh, make sure you check out my Ecom Academy Clubhouse. It'll be the first link in the description below. Thanks again for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.